Alleged AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 7955WX has been spotted. Starfield might be lacking DLSS and XES support at launch. Intel is claiming 19% GPU driver average FPS improvement since launch. And lastly, AMD Radeon RX 7900GRE is already getting cheaper in China. This is Tech Track. So firstly, we have Hong Yang Fu, or Hong and Fu, I could be wrong with how I spelled that, but he confirmed, he's confirming the Benchlix tweet about this unknown CPU, and that's the AMD engineering sample, whatever the code name is. Basically, he has confirmed that that's the Family 25 Model 24 Stepping 1, that basically is the 16-core Threadripper Pro 7955WX. So according to Geekbench, we're looking at a single-core performance of 2707 and a multi-core of 17,419. It's the same exact cpu we're talking about here so that's the 7955wx that's the score and when you compare that to 5955wx we're getting some decent performance uplift here as you can see it's getting 2099 versus 2707 so a quite a good uplift rare even, even in the multiple core performance we're getting more than thousand so that's pretty neat and also as you can see the base frequency for this processor or the threadripper pro would be the 4.5 5 gigahertz as the base frequency and when it goes to the maximum we're looking at 5.169 nice so yeah that's not a bad uh uplift here that's 5.169 gigahertz and of course in megahertz 5169 still nice it's the same number but still yeah it's looking pretty good that's the 16 core processor we're looking at here 16 core 32 chips. that's the, probably the entry level one for the threadripper even though that's 16 core processor because <laughs> you know that's the baseline for the Threadripper Pro. And right now we're looking at this spec here and video card spec list. And if you can see, as you can see, we're looking at the TR Pro W97995WX. We're looking at the 96 cores, 90, 192 threads. We got also got the 78, 7985WX. We're getting 64, 128, 79 something 5. We still are not confirmed what will the naming scheme would be. Is it 48, 96, and 32, 64? And now we have the proper identification for the 7955wx which is 16 core 32 threads 4.5 gigahertz as the baseline 5.1 is the max and of course 350 all of them are rated at 350 and we have one more that is the 7945wx that still needs to be a down so we'll look into that later next up we have a twitter user sebastian castellanos i guess that's as well uh, he just tweeted this. So after combining through Starfield preload files on PC, I don't see any sign of it supporting DLSS and XCSs. So he's basically talking about this here. As you can see, this is the uh, basically the Starfield game files. Basically, Starfield consists of 139 gigs of game space, which is m absolutely absurd. Still lower than Call of Duty, so kind of props to that, but still... And it's the 139 gigs of files and after going through all of it, they didn't find anything that is related to DLSS or XCSS. But they do find is the AMD FSR 2 will be in support from day one launch. So basically it is kind of makes sense why they're doing this because if you don't know, Starfield is an AMD sponsored title. Basically meaning that AMD is sponsoring this title with their actual tech and ray tracing and stuff like that. Basically that will... Would, that would make sense that AMD's FSR 2.0 will be supporting Starfield from day one. What is concerning though, however, however is that DLSS and XCSs is, is not coming with Starfield from day one. We don't know for sure if they will add that later or if they will add it never. Probably they would add it later because, you know, usually that is the case where when there's something that is something sponsored like NVIDIA sponsored or AMD sponsored, doesn't matter. They usually go for the AMD or NVIDIA's feature tech first and then later on they add the t technologies that is not sponsored. I guess this ca in this case, AMD will be sponsoring it and that's why FSR 2.0 will be coming with the game from day one launch or day one patch, whatever you want to call it. But we might need to wait for the DLSs and XCSs maybe like a month or two before they add it to the game. So I guess that's why a lot of people are complaining that why that is the case. Obviously, that's not a good practice because, I mean, come on, let's be real. It's something, anything sponsored is really kind of limits user experience. So that is why people are complaining. So it's kind of fair. Also right here, he confirms that supporting only FSR 2 out of all temporal upscalers. So basically meaning that, yeah, uh, FSR 2.0 would be coming with this particular game from day one launch but i do think that 
FSR as a whole techno technology supports all the GPUs out there literally supporting back to like what Polaris cards or even farther back back then. So it kind of makes sense why they're going to go with uh, something that technology that supports the broad audience right but i still would think that dlss or xcss support would be better because you know why not right because let's be real dlss or even xcss in terms of image quality is better than fsr 2.0 even though fsr 2.0 is quite good i'm not saying it isn't it is pretty good but having multiple options is really good for the user experience if not, then these are the complaints that you will get, which kind of hurts the branding of the company itself and the game itself. So that's my take. Next up, Intel is showing uh, showcasing their update for the DX11 performance. And it's not looking that bad here. They're literally claiming 19% faster on average, according to their analysis and of course the 20 percent in one person loss improvement so that's also pretty good so if you look into the performance improvements here we're looking at the 1080p average fps for the intel arc a750 and they're comparing the 3490 launch versus the latest drivers here and as you can see it's a it's an uplift in all titles not the huge title in some cases like destiny 2 didn't get a huge uplift but in other titles like league of legends or even valorant or when counter strike dota 2 genshin impact overwatch 2 gt online gt 5 benchmark basically and whatever this game is emmy shadow of war i've never heard of that but anyway apex legends of course these games are getting some good uplift and if you look into the percentile where look we're getting at 33 percent for the overall just a maximum overwatch 2 is getting the 33 percent gt 5 benchmark getting 37 percent and online is the same 27% Dota 2 20% ME Shadow of War 20% Counter Strike 2 18% as long as Valorant Apex Legend 1% low which is 17% Genshin Impact is 15% League of Legends 11% and as I said Destiny 2 didn't get the huge uplift for only 5% again this is the first party benchmark but I kind of believe them because why would they even nitpick anyway and even then the 1% lows performance were massive especially in the Overwatch 2 45% so right now overwatch 2 is more smoother much smoother than the previous driver so that's great gd5 is getting 25 dota 2 24 gd online getting 22 apex legend 20 counter strike 2 getting 19 percent valorant 18 genshin impact 17 me shadow of wars getting 12 percent destiny 2 in this case destiny 2 is a bit better in terms of one person lows so 10 percent and league of legends only nine percent so uh, all, all over the case we're looking at some good performance uplift even in the one person lows and in the average appears so that's pretty neat so thumbs up next up we have an article from it home and we're looking at sapphire rx7900 gre public version of the display card dropped to 5099 yuan so previously if you look closely here it was 5599 so basically 50 600 yuan uh, we've also had the 5799 yuan basically dropping down as they claim which is the 5099 so it's a huge improvement or huge drop i should say but it's only huge when you consider the yuan in in dollar we're getting only four percent decrease which is 727 to 699 so not a huge drop here from 727 to 699 but then again we're talking about the usds here but it shouldn't be counted as USDs. It should be counted as yuan. But still, it's, it's they're, they're dropping already, which is kind of makes sense that that would drop. I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's it. Not a huge drop in price, but still dropping in price. 